Hey what's up Spartans, welcome back to another Halo video now in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts on the new update for the Halo Master Chief collection uh, what I really think of it and you know talk about where Halo will be in the future so as many of you guys already know T43 released a major update known as the Season 3 update that includes Halo 3 earliest releasing on PC, Firefly making a return and also the new hit registration fix in Halo 3 that 343 has implemented. So let's talk about the new hit reg. The hit registration is so much better now where you can finally shoot players. The bullets actually do something useful this time and it feels so satisfying killing them from a long range and uh, they did a fantastic job fixing this bug because previously the shot registry was so bad bullets doesn't, doesn't hit them. It doesn't even on their shields, the enemy shields don't even go down, doesn't even do anything, but now they do. So good job on T3 for fixing the uh, issues, it feels like the OG Halo 3 in my opinion. So they implemented new stuff for Halo 3 like weapon skins and customize your visor color in Halo 3 which is pretty dope. And they added new weapons that were introduced from Halo 3 ODST such as the Odin Mag, Silent SMG and the Brute Plasma Rifle. Though these uh, are not extremely new weapons, it's still nice to see these weapons from other uh, Halo Halo games coming into Halo 3. It kind of does bring quality life into the game because I had so much fun playing the Recon Slayer playlist. If you guys don't know what Recon Slayer is, you basically spawn with the ODST weapons with the Silent SMG and the Odin Mag Pistol. And honestly, the Odin Mag Pistol is far better than the Halo 3 Magnum. Uh, especially when there's uh, when there's a scope for it. But one thing I'm, I'm confused about the name, this is just minor, is why they called it Recon Slayer and not ODC Slayer. I mean, these weapons are from Halo 3 ODST, right? So it would make sense for it to be named as, as ODST Slayer rather than Recon Slayer. I mean, I don't know why they called it that. Doesn't Halo 5 have a playlist that's called ODST Slayer? I don't know, it's a bit confusing, you know, in my opinion. Anyways, uh, this Odin Mag is a deadly silent weapon. It really does remind me of the Halo C Magnum. I don't think we haven't had a good Magnum since Halo C maybe. I heard some compliments about the Halo 5 Magnum, but as I said many times, I never played Halo 5's multiplayer, so I wouldn't know, so I can't really say much about that. But yeah, it's very you know awesome to see these weapons in game. I would love to see the Odin Mag in the Halo 3 swap because I do play a lot of Halo C swap as you guys you know already know. Uh, but that, you know, that would be very cool to see. Uh, the only downside about these weapons, you can't really do wheel with the Silent SMG nor the Odin Map Pistol. Uh, maybe because they are super overpowered, you know? Almost like the Needler. Uh, you know, on how you can't really do wheel with the Needler because it's super overpowered. Well, you could do it in Halo 2, but Bungie removed it in Halo 3 because it was super overpowered. There was no balance to it. Uh, you could have a do wheel with the Brute Plasma Rifles, uh, which as you can see here. Uh, which is nice. Anyways, uh, they also included the challenge hub in game rather than the, you know, on the main menu screen. Uh, this is very helpful because me and my buddies always have to leave the game just to see a challenge that we want to, uh, that we want to do. Uh, and it was kind of annoying. Uh, so it's very helpful to see in game now uh, rather than on the main menu screen. Uh, we can just press the start button and, you know, head straight to the challenge hub. Now, moving on, so 343 brought back uh, Halo 3 ODST Firefight and they included a lot of new options in Firefight. It's so much better than it, than it was, you know, way back in the day when Halo 3 ODST was released in 2009 because you couldn't play Halo 3 ODST Firefight matchmaking. There was no matchmaking system at all back in the day. It was just local and it was, you know, so hard to find people that had Halo 3 ODST. But now you can hop onto Halo 3 ODST Firefight matchmaking and start playing with other people. It's that easy now, it's like, it works just like Halo Reach Firefight. And they added new game modes for Firefight, like Firefight Arcade, Firefight Fiesta, uh, you know, so on and so forth. And, and they even brought back the Battle Rifle from Halo 3 into ODST Firefight. OG Halo 3 ODST uh, never had the Battle Rifle. So that, so you know, this is very awesome, you know, for 3 for 3 adding it in. You know, the Halo Master Chief Collection it has came a long way ever since 2014 and yeah we all know that you know in 2014 MCC was living in the dark times and it was one of the worst launching gaming but now like what a comeback you know I'm so happy where Halo MCC is currently thank you you know 343 for to this game and constantly updating and improving the game and listening to our feedback uh, it does mean a lot um, they have done a lot to the MCC and people don't really realize that you know uh, I mean 343 could have easily stopped, you know, updating the MCC, you know, a long time ago. Because the games we are playing, 
Tifti never actually made these games, you know. Bungie are the ones who developed these games. Tifti could easily turn around and be like, oh, we never made these games, so we don't care. Why should we care? For well, except for Halo 4, of course, they only made that. But do you guys see what I'm talking about here? Tif you know, Tifti do actually care about the games we are playing. Uh, even if they never made them, they, they could easily ditch, you know, they could have easily ditched the Halo MCC and just worked on their own Halo game instead. Uh, especially when the game had an awful launch in 2014 and the community didn't care about Halo anymore. The community wasn't there, you know? Uh, but TFT was still around for those dark times, no matter how hard it was. And even to this day, and not many game developers actually do that. The only game developers I can think of uh, that has done something like this was probably Hello Games, you know? The people that made No Man's Sky. Uh, you remember how that game launched, right? But look at it now. So I think overall, uh, only you know two gaming developers stuck to their games, regardless how bad it was. Uh, so I'm very grateful. I'm very great grateful where Halo, MC Halo MCC is currently. Uh, we are so lucky. To, we are so lucky. We even getting these kind of updates for these very old games. Honestly, like we should be grateful. You know, uh, you know, we should be happy where it's at. Uh, and yeah, I know it took three for three to fix these games six years later. Uh, but it's better than never, right? There are still exciting things to look forward to with the with Halo MCC. Uh, you know, the next season, you know, we may see crossplay, custom game browser. Hopefully, you know, with dedicated servers. I do hope they do ask something like that, uh, which I'll be so pumped up for. And then official mods for that will be absolutely hype. Like when that happens, you know, that like, that'll be the real deal. You know, that's when Halo will change forever. If they add official mods for the same level modding. You know, level as custom edition. I could promise you that will change Halo forever. Halo will enter its new prime when there's, you know, if the if the, if the new official mod support, if the if uh, modding support is the same level as custom edition, absolutely no doubt. You know, that game, you know, MCC overall will, will change forever. It will live on. You know, it will become eternal. <laughs> Yeah. Okay guys, I think I said it enough for today's video. I do apologize if I have forgot anything. I do end up forgetting the things I wanted to say every time I, I want to end the video. So I'm sorry if I forgot anything that's important. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and like the video. And be sure you know to follow us on Twitch. I, we, we, all, we, will, we will always stream Halo on Twitch literally every day. And hopefully I will see you guys there. Uh, and please let me know like down in the comments below what do you guys think of the new update. Or you know, do you guys, you know... Are you guys enjoying the new update or whatever? Like, let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you Spartans in the next video.